Speaking at a media briefing in Mombasa, women drawn from Mombasa County are happy about the position women got in the cabinet but regret that Mombasa was left out despite its immense contribution to Kenya Kwanza during the August 9th elections. Sisi tumeridhika nayo lakini bado sisi watu wa Mombasa tumeona kama kumerukwa hapa Mombasa. Na kwa ukweli sisi tulipiga kura na watu walikuchangamkia na kuna viongozi ambao walikuwa wamekusimamia. Lakini leo hii tumeangalia tuona Mombasa ni kama umeskip. Umeenda kwale, umeonda kilifi. Mombasa ndio center ambao wewe ulikuwa usiku na mchana hupumui mpaka ukanyage Mombasa. Lakini leo tuona Mombasa kama umeiruka. Lakini hatujakufa moyo. Bado tukukumbusha Mombasa ndio kitovu cha serikali ya Kenya. Tunataka watu wachaguliwe wa hapa hapa. Walofanya hapa hapa county walifanya bidii na watu wengine walitoa pesa zao kufanya kampeni walianguka na ni lazima waangaliwe hao. Kwa hivyo sisi tunasema hivi. Kama wao wanafanya hivi na pia tunataka pia rais yetu achukue hatua kama hiyo pia na yeye atuchague sisi watu wa Mombasa twende kwingine pia tukafanye kazi kama haiwezekani. Kwa sababu tu watu wamekufa na watu wengi wamekufa kwa sababu ya kampeni kufa kusema kufa ni kwa sababu watu wameathirika wengi umaskini umekithiri na yeye alisema tutataka kuangalia wale watu wa chini kama wale kina mama mboga alivyosema na kina boda boda na wa, wa, mama wengi wame, ni, ni, kazi zao ni hizo za, za viazi mboga mboga biashara za chini chini tutataka atuinue tutataka rais wetu atuinue the lobby says among the keeper status like Kenya Ports Authority and Kenya Maritime Authority should be left for coastal appointments so as to benefit the natives. They now want the president in his spirit of the bottom-up model of uplifting the economy to consider youth and women from Mombasa. Na ni raisi na mjua mimi, na mjua vizuri sana. Na yea na nijua vizuri sana. Kwa hivyo nataka aje angalie hapa Mombasaani angalie watu wake waliokufa walijitokeza mwanzo kupiga makelele wa kwa kumpiga yeye kelele anawajua wote mwenyewe kwa hivyo tunataka awakumbuke hawa kina mama waliotojitokeza mbele hata wako tayari ilikuwa kuuza maisha yao kwa hivyo aje awatizame atutizame atuangalie tusifanye kazi naye pamoja tuitengeze hii Mombasa iwe kama ilivyokuwa Mombasa ya amani President William Ruto on Tuesday unveiled his cabinet. The list contained seven women and 15 men. Former Malindi MP Aisha Jumwa was among those appointed to the cabinet after she was handed public service and gender cabinet secretary post. They say since the cabinet pledge on women positions was not reached completely, the region should benefit from the government if the president appoints more representatives from the region. Wewe ndiyo baba taifa na huwezi kuiacha Mombasa as blank. Lazima utaifikiria na utaipromote utapatia cabinet mtu wako ama unao yale ambao unayawaza katika akili yako. Sisi hatuna wasiwasi na wewe. Kitu nataka kukwambia mheshimiwa Ruto. Mombasa ina vijana. Mombasa ina kina mama. Lazima katika zile ahadi zako ulizopeana ya kuwa kuna mama mboga, kuna boda boda wale pia uwafikirie. Kuna parastatals nyingi sana. Si lazima ya poti. Parastatals zote hizo zinafanya kazi. Sasa hawa watoto wengine hawa na afya na wetu wengine watanufaika vipi katika hii serikali ambayo sisi kama atukuachagua wale tulikuchagua wewe we campaigned you we voted you sisi ambao tuliokukampenia sisi tutapata wapi manufaa katika serikali yako maana serikali iliyoko ni ile ile iliyokuweko haijatoka Ata ukiangalia deputy governor ni wao speaker ni wao county secretary ni wao uwajiri ni wao ofisi bado wa waziri wa fedha ni wale wale sisi ambao pia sisi ni wa Kenya na hii Mombasa pia sisi ni, ni, ni yetu tutafaidika vipi ndo kilio chetu sisi na watoto wetu eh? kwa hivyo sisi tuokoa mtukufu rais Mombasa Hassan ODM Governor Abdul Somad Sharif Nasser who won against UDA's Hassan Omar in the just concluded general election the women therefore feel that the president needs to appoint appointment to steer the government's economic plans in Mombasa Kaindo Stefano Ebru TV <laughs>